Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of CDS Views. So in this part, we are going to see the concept of joints using our CDS Views. Okay, so joints using CDS Views. Before directly going to implementation part, we will see what is joints and how we can use them in our CDS Views. Okay, so what is joints? So if we talk about a web programming, so in a web programming, we use joins to fetch data from multiple tables based on a based on a common condition, common condition using a single select query. This is the concept of join we already know, right? Using a single select query, we can fetch data from multiple tables and based on a common condition, based on a common condition. So similarly, similarly, we can use joins in our CDS views, CDS views to fetch data from multiple tables, right? We can directly use joins here or main multiple data sources to fetch data from multiple data sources. Now, how many types of joins are there? How many types of joins? How many types of joins are there? So, if we check the joins, we have two types of joins. We have two types of joins first one is inner join inner join and second one is outer join inner join and outer join inner join inner join inner join inner join returns the common data common data between the tables only common data only common data and then we have outer join so in outer join we have got left outer join left outer join and the second one will be right outer join so right outer join so what is the job of left outer join so left outer join left outer join returns the all returns all the left data left data of the data source and common data between both the tables all the data all the data of left table of left table and common data between both the tables and our right outer join is exact opposite of left it will return all the data of right table along with along with along with common data between both tables so either right outer join returns all the data of right table right table and common data between both the tables so this is the concept of joins okay now i will simply take one requirement here that requirement will clear this concept so i will take a requirement i will take here a requirement okay so for that i will open my sap system i will open my sap system okay I will go to SE 11 and now I will open my table. So this is my employee table. If I check this table, we have got how many columns? Six columns in this table. And if I see its content, we have got records from 101 to 111. Okay. Then I will go for another table, which is our item table. So this is my project details table. And this has got how many columns? 
three columns. But employee ID is the common column between both these tables. Employee ID is the common column between both these tables. So what we will do, we will use this, we use these two tables. So uh, create CDS view, but this is my requirement, create CDS view and fetch, uh, fetch data from both employee employee what is the name of our employee table so it will be this is my employee custom table and project so del table okay we will use C cds view using joints both we are going to use the inner and outer join okay so this will be my requirement and i am going to simply do the implementation part okay so we will go to eclipse right click on data definition new data definition pass the name of the cds view i'll go for seven this time cds view seven and then I will go for description joins using CDS views. Okay. I will go for next button. I will go for next button. Then I will select the transport request. And I will go for next. I will go for define view and I will go for finish. Okay. So this is our normal template of our CDS view. First, we will pass a SQL view name for that a new DDIC view will be created. Okay, so we will pass a view name here. Five up to five has been created. We will go for the sixth one. So seven. Yeah, perfect. This view will be created, right? Now define view <coughs> as select from the data source. So here we will write the join condition. We are going to write the join condition. So add select from uh, we will pass our employee table name. Okay. We will pass our employee table name. We will pass our employee table name. So copy the table name and go and paste it there. So from here then inner join inner join our item table name so go and copy the table name okay and paste it here inner join right then we will pass the join condition so on our employee table table dot employee id is equal to project tables dot employee id this will be our join condition okay now once we have the join condition correct then we can go and select the column names one by one so i will first go with the employee id so first column will be employee id as employee id then we will go for another one employee name as employee name then we will go for another one so department department as department then we will go for another one manager as manager salary as salary currency as currency okay then we will go for item one right so we will go for item one uh, we have got employee id okay let's print it again so i will name it item employee id <coughs> item employee id uh, then we will go for its column 
project id okay so project id as project id then we will go for project name also so project project underscore name kindly check the column names must be correct otherwise you will get runtime error here you will not be able to activate it okay so we have simply used here uh, what kind of error is this oh sorry let's change it to six mm, again sap object cannot be oh zdd view yeah it's now correct all right this warning preserve key okay let it be or oh, it's perfect we are using inner join okay let's activate it so i will do the activation part object activated now let's see what kind of data we will expect so when we will go our all the common data should come right so here we have got data from 101 to 105 and if i check my employee table here we have get data from 101 to 111 so we will get records from 101 to 105 let's go and check i will do the right click i will go for open with data preview 101 to 105 up to 101 to 105 and you can see here the records employee id either i here we have item employee id project id project name manager salary and currency part right everything is getting displayed here easily so it's perfect right it's perfect now i will go here and i will simply do a little bit change so this was our inner join i will make it left outer join now let's see what is going to happen because our left table have more records also so left outer join I will activate it I will do the activation I will do the activation wait 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 activate it again yeah activated now I'll go for open with data preview okay so here this time we will get all the one one up to triple one records only we are not getting the records from our item table because we don't have records after 105 but after 105 we have got records in our header table so it is displaying and item columns are empty here so this is the clear difference between your inner join and left outer join similarly if we your right table will have more data you can go for right outer join so this is the beauty of left and right outer join now we will change our requirement uh, take input from user also from user as a parameter now based on the user input we will do the filter condition okay so i will go for user input this time here i will pass with parameters now with parameters parameters i will take input for my employee id so parameter p employee id and here i will pass its data element so let me just check its data element i will copy the data element here and i will paste it here okay so it's perfect now i will simply use it as a where condition so where employee id is equal to our dollar parameters dot employee id dollar parameters dot employee id oh sorry employee id is not unique here we will refer to our employee table so employee underscore tab yeah it's perfect now it's perfect what is the problem here parameter so it will be our input p employee id so let's pass it here yeah it's correct now uh, let's remove this preserve key catalog 
this annotation we don't need and do the activation. Okay, activation done, reactivate it. Object activated. Now I will go for open with data source. So open with data preview. I will pass my employee ID 101 and open data preview. So see here only 101 records, right? Only 101 records. And if you check, this is your inner join left outer join and let's change it to inner join again it's showing left outer join okay i'll paste it inner join activate it and i will go for open with data preview again 101 see now this is common data based on the user input this is common data based on the user input so this is how you can implement the concept of joins using the cds views now i will go and check what kind of ddic view has been created so i will go to my sap system view paste it display generated ddl sql view only supported in limited way so here let's check the table join condition you can see here both the tables have been joined based on the employee id and mandt columns and we can select the fields here see all the fields you can see whatever alias we have given only these fields are coming here automatically right this is your cds database view right cds database view now if i check my cds view so let's copy our cds view name and see in our data type so data type paste it here display joins using cds view standard app package response uh, personal responsible and here you will be able to see the content of your cds view right content of the cds view meanwhile you will not be able to modify it if you will go for change button it will give you a, a notification here this can only be changed using edit in eclipse okay so this is all about implementing joins using cds view okay so thank you very much for watching the video. We will continue from next part.